Taking notes with Notion is very simple. All you need to do is add a page and start typing. But the real beauty of Notion is how you can organize your notes so they're always easy to find and useful for you or your whole team. When you're working with others, so much productivity is unlocked by having a record of meetings and documents that have helped you make critical decisions. Good meeting notes with strong documentation make your work transparent and keep everyone moving forward. In this video, I'll show you how to build databases for meeting notes and important team docs like product specs, company processes, and proposals from scratch, and how to use templates to standardize high-quality note-taking across your team. This is what we'll achieve by the end of the video. Two databases, one for meeting notes and one for docs. Each database includes custom properties and views, making information accessible and clear to any team member. Here's a workspace. As you can see, there are already a few subpages in your sidebar. We'll start by creating two top-level pages where you can store your notes, one called Docs for documents your team writes to capture process, planning, and strategy, and the other called Meeting Notes to capture notes taken on the fly and action items that come up in internal or external meetings. To do this, click on the plus button. To speed things up, we're going to start with a template. Go to Templates, then select Docs, and use this template. Now you have a list database where you can start storing documents. Let's repeat the same steps to add our meeting notes database. Hit the plus button, then select a template and use this template. Note that we have versions of meeting notes tailored to each type of team, so you can find and choose yours. Great, your two top level pages are now created and can be found here in your sidebar. This is what your docs database could look like, with every new document neatly added to this list. As you can see, it gives you a bird's eye view of the team the doc is related to, when it was last edited, and who created the doc. What's great about databases in Notion is that you can add and edit any of these properties. Properties are pieces of information about each doc that can help you understand, view, and organize your documents. In this example, there are four properties, created by, last edited time, team, and stakeholders. I'll show you how to customize your properties in a bit. These properties allow you to view your data in different ways. For instance, let's say you would like to only view documents that you created. You can add a new database view at the top left, select the type of view you want. In this case, we'll add another list, give your view a name, so created by me, and hit create. A new list database is created. Now go to filter, then add a filter, and say, created by contains me. Now this view only displays documents that are created by you. This is what we call a filtered view. And it gives you the ability to toggle back and forth between all docs and the ones you authored. You may also want to create different views that are not lists. If you want to see docs according to teams, you can add a board view and say, group by team or add another board view that groups documents by creator. You can easily switch between views in the view menu or simply by clicking on the toggle next to your database in the sidebar. Lastly, you can make sure that docs go back to the top of the list whenever they are edited so the freshest ones show up first. Just hit sort, select the last edited time property and choose descending. This is what your meeting notes database could look like, with similar properties and custom views. You could see who the participants in the meeting were and when the meeting itself took place. As I showed you at the beginning of this video, you can create this database by using an already existing template. But now, I'll show you how to build this type of system from scratch. Click on the plus sign next to Workspace, then select List. Give your page a name and add an icon if you wish. A default list database shows up, with three empty pages ready to be filled with content. Every list entry is a page of its own, with the default database properties featured at the top. Let's say you want to add the same properties as the meeting notes database I showed you. For example, you want to display the people who were in the meeting. Click Add a property, give your property a name like participants, and scroll down until you find the person property. Click on it, and there you go! Your property is added, and you can use it to fill in meeting attendees. When you tag people like this, 
they'll get a notification with a link to the notes. We also recommend creating a multi-select property called Team, so you can easily see how meeting notes correspond to teams. In the empty space next to the property, type the name of your different teams. A tag will be created for every one of them. To edit these, just click here. You can rename them and change their colors. So for example, you could show that a meeting involved sales and marketing by tagging both of them. If you want to automatically record the date the meeting took place, the property created time comes in handy. You can use it to sort, filter, and find specific notes when needed. Remove this default property, and here you have your customized list of properties. Now, if you click on the blue New button at the top right, a new page will be created with your custom properties. You can give it a name, fill out your properties, and add your notes here. As simple as that. And now anyone on your team can come here, click on any set of notes, and get a full understanding of who was there, what was discussed, what was decided, and what still needs to be done. This information is available to all. As I showed you previously, you can create different views based on your properties. For instance, all notes organized by team or only weekly syncs. If you're like most teams, you probably have a number of recurring meetings that take the same format every week or month, like stand-ups, check-ins, or syncs. If this is the case, you can create a database template for these nodes to use each time. That way, you don't have to create the same content from scratch for every new meeting. Click on the arrow next to the New button at the top right and select New Template. Give your template a name, and here you can add the content blocks you will want to use for every standup, like a section for discussion notes and a checklist of action items. You can also add the people who are in every standup into that property field and specify the team. That way, each standup has a clearly defined structure which can be easily reproduced. Next time, all you'll have to do is click on the arrow again, select your template, and add your content in the already existing sections. The participants will appear automatically too. To end this video, I have one more advanced tip for you. Let's say you have another database in your workspace for projects, and you want to easily see which meeting notes or docs are related to each project. This is possible with Notion's relation property. In this meeting notes database we built together, add a property, name it project, and select relation as a type. A window will pop up for you to search for the database you want to relate. Type projects to find and select it from the menu, then hit create relation. Now for every set of notes, you can click on the field next to this property and have the ability to search entries in your project's database to add the right project. This creates a link to that project right here. And if you click it, you'll see that the project page contains a link to the meeting notes. They're connected. As you have more meetings about a project, they'll all be neatly collected and easy to reference right here. The same thing can be done with docs by relating projects to that database. We created this video to help you build clear and standardized databases that can help your team learn from itself and build institutional memory. Once your notes process is established, you'll see how much easier it'll be for everyone to add and find information. Because you can create it any way you want, Notion can be the perfect tool for note-taking and documentation. We hope this helps everyone on your team build their own productive tools.